welcome to K Park. We've had all the pre-season football and we're here for the first Lone League highlights of the season. And what a prospect, a derby game against BSC Glasgow under the summer conditions of K Park on the 1st of August. It's a bit torrential rain at the moment, hopefully it clears up by the time kickoff starts. So we're looking forward to this one, we've got the best in action from this contest in the next few moments. First of all, let's have a look at the first team news of the Lone League season. For the home side, a lot of the new signings have came in and really settled in well during pre-season, including Sean Winter and Barry Russell, who captained the side. Uh, some recent additions over the last few days, including uh, Jack Smith, who was last at Arbroath, and the veteran uh, ex Aberdeen striker, among other clubs, uh, Robbie Winter's start as well. Um, Anton Brady will look to score more goals with the loss of Gilles Victoria up front too. Uh, for BSE Glasgow, a couple of French players on their team. One of them starts, Arnold Bembo, the other one, uh, Everest Bembo, is on the bench. Uh, Chris McDougall, one of the former uh, EK players, will be a threat, could cause problems off the bench later on in the game. So that's the team, this East Kilbride against BSE Glasgow in the first game of the Lone League season. Team's come out, got myself into the commentary position. It's uh, not as rainy anymore, the sun's trying to peek out, so that's positive as the new lonely season is underway. Kelby get us going. Russell up long. Robert Winters coming in, was he? Foul there in the first minute and a half of the game. Referee says no. Ferris. In Ferris! So oh, it's an acrobatic stop by McGinley and goal. McBride's corner. Oh, falls for Jack Smith! How about that? Got a second and bite at that, Cherry. Couldn't quite control it the first time. Off Arnold Bembo and fell in the acrobatic overhead kick and Kilby lead. First goal of the new season, Jack Smith, the new signing and former growth man. Goes fully in towards Bronski and it's over. Kinnan takes it short. Oh, it's a good header, just a little bit too much in that. Fall down. Here's Sean Winter! Ian Stewart with a terrific stop. He's heading in that corner. McBride, looking for the short one. Not sure if that was what he's exactly wanting. Comes back to him. Howie coming in. Oh, and not far away. I think he was. Inches away from connecting. He looks disappointed actually. <laughs> Headed down. <laughs> oh, and Ramsey coming in there. On oh, Gavin Lackley. Is he going to get a yellow card? He is. Jack Smith. Forward by Cole. Foul there, no played on. Jack Smith taking it on, but the flag's up from Robert Winter's ball. McKinnon, oh, it's another long range effort. McKinley struggling a little bit. Was it a foul? Comes to Ferris, but the foul's eventually been given. High and long. Cameron! Didn't quite connect. If he did, that could have been 1 1. Ramsey. Spins and it's McLear by Barry Russell, the captain for Kelby. Half time at K Park and a really watchable game once again. But you do sense that both sides just not quite at full gear for the first game of the season. Um, if you've seen this maybe a few weeks later, it may well have been slightly even more full bloody. But anyway. It's 1-0 to Kelby. Jack Smith's first goal for the club, the difference between the two sides. Now remember, if you like the Lonely Cup Final DVD, the big win for Kelby back in May with commentary. Full 90 minutes, it's £5 on sale. Ask the K-Park staff for details. I've been trying to sell some today successfully, I may add. Also, if you like some physiotherapy work or some sports massage done, Natty the Kyle is the EKFC first team physio. Uh, there is the contact details on the screen if you'd like to get in touch with her. And then the yellow jerseys, BSC Glasgow get us going. The second half going from uh, left to right. 
Long by Cameron. McKinnon linking up. Oh, it's Phil Kindly. And another goal attempt. It's well over. Conley to McKinnon. McKinnon battling on with Winter. Plays it through to Connolly. Three minutes into the second half and BAC Glasgow have equalised. That's the threat of Ross McKinning. Mugging the ball of Sean Winter. And Conley was the recipient to slot it into the net. Visitors level at Key Park. Ball out to Robbie Winters. Handball. Nose is the ref. It's McBride's corner. Comes towards Smith. Jack Smith. And away by Arnold Bembo. I for. Connolly shouts from the BSC camp for a penalty. David Gray, the captain. It's Gray! Oh, it's just past that post, not far away at all. Brady. On the chase is Jack Smith! And Craig Hastings was looking for the pass across. Was there a little nibble and challenge and Gabby there was. George McKechnie for BSC booked. Jack Smith. Craig Hastings. Trying to find the space. It's well wide. High and long, and look at this. That's uh, easily taken though from the shot from Kieran Johnson. Ramsey nods it back, but falls in the path of Gebby. But is there been words spoken here? Says so the referee, there has. And Drew Ramsey, I think, there's too much to say to the referee. Foul language and the like, and he has been given a second yellow card, and he's off, and, well, there's a history of this red cards in this contest. Bride's delivery, away by Arnold Bembo. Brady. McBride. What's through onto Hastings. It's Craig Hastings, oh, is there a foul by McKechnie? Yes, there is, in stoppage time. And if Kelly be going to use one of the early lifelines of the season. Bit of an eyebrow raise, Martin McBride never a regular penalty taker. <laughs> eyebrows raised, what eyebrows raised, right into that corner. And it is a crucial, crucial goal. It's the games that Kelby will want to win if they're wanting to be in a title race. And Martin McBride stepped up and scored. Kelby 2. BSC won right to the death. And a little tug back on Anton Brady and Jordan McKenney has been booked and surely he's not going to go for that. He is. I think that's extremely harsh. It was a free kick definitely, but well, when you're on a yell, you've got to watch yourself. But this referee has been very card happy and trigger happy with the whistle and well, they're down to nine BSC with probably seconds to go. McBride out towards Gavin Lachlan, but it doesn't matter. And as I did say, just a few seconds to go, and that's all that was left for nine men BSC. In the end, they've lost at Cape Art Kelby. It's a crucial three points. That late, late show, the penalty from Martin McBride means it's three points and off to a flyer in the title race in the Lowland League. Jack Smith scored his first goal in the first half to make it 1-0. Connolly equalised early in the second, but Kelby getting that late penalty and winning by two goals to one here at Cape Park.
and elsewhere in the Lone League in the first weekend. Well, Edinburgh City, the champions, with a comfortable 3 0 win against Gretna. They are going to be a force this season. Elsewhere, it was the Beatty Star 2, Vale of Leathen 1. It was Preston 0, Gallifrey and Rovers 3, Selkirk 2, Edinburgh and 0. And it was Whitetail Welfare 1, 3 Rovers 2. It's a very rare away win in the Lone League for 3 Rovers. Tables wise, well, of course, very early on, but Edinburgh City, Gallat, Selkirk, Dalbeat, and East Kilbride, and three with the three uh, points. Cumbernauld Colts make their uh, grand debut in the Lone League midweek, and Spartans and Stirling University played on the Sunday. BSC Glasgow then leading the line of teams that haven't uh, won. One defeat already in the campaign for all those sides. As I just mentioned, there, there is a midweek campaign of games. East Kilbride got a bit of a trek for a Wednesday night. They're away down to Radio Park to take on Gretna 2008. Uh, good luck to the away side there. Full card in the Lone League before. Next Saturday they're away Kelby once again to Gallifrey in Rovers. Uh, I'll be down there with uh, local radio coverage actually for TU on radio so anyone that can't make it down there it will be on tuonradio.com from 3 o'clock. But for now, from this one, for East Coast FC TV, thanks to David Craig, braving the rain and the weather. And from me, we will see you next time for more highlights.